Keselowski doing a great job. First time winner, Brad Keselowski. I don't think he's coming into it, runs out of gas. It's awesome, this is it. This is what I've been dreaming of my life. Brad Keselowski, he's been running with these guys so it's a week in and week out. We have a battle for this championship. Brad Keselowski has been the top performer in the Nationwide Series the last six races. Average finish of 9.3. That's ahead of Clint and Carl. What are your chances of narrowing that gap here at Bristol, Brad? Well, Bristol has been a great track for us in the Junior Motorsports team. So uh, we didn't qualify where we want to, but the uh, last two races I've had here, you know, we finished seventh and fourth. And uh, hopefully we can get it three spots better and get a win here today. All right. You had your problems in qualifying. You said it. You start 37th. How challenging is tonight going to be? Extremely challenging. There's almost always a wreck in the first five laps. And uh, when you're in the back, you know, it's going to be in front of you. So uh, finding a way to dodge that's going to be tough. But uh, I'm confident in my crew with Tony or senior that we'll have the right calls on pit road to get us some track position and we can go for the win. Well, no doubt about it. He's going to be exciting to watch coming from the back to the front, looking for a good point tonight. Alan? Change we got a chance here for the lead. Up front, the two car up across the racetrack coming out of turn two, and the 88 goes by and takes the lead with 24 laps to go. What a run this 88 car's had from 37 to the lead. They were in turns one and two here just a moment ago. Now watch the two car in the middle of turns one and two. Oh, oh man, that's a yeah, good save, that's, actually. Mm, yeah. Got Coming back to the, the gas two. hard, trying to get that run. How much is that him looking, looking in the mirror, seeing that 88? I'm sure that he knew that he was right there. What do you think, Mike? Well, yeah, I mean, he could see him coming. Brad's been almost equal to, to Clint over the last run or so. The coaching, though, that's been going on since then has been very positive. Mike Dillon on the radio trying to tell Clint, hey, be patient. There's still plenty of racing to go. We can catch him. 22 car trying to run in the 88 car. And folks, if you just joined our coverage, I know we've said it a couple times, the 88 car starting back in 37th position. Up on top of the pit box at the 88, that's Brad Keselowski's mom. Might be his good luck charm. The only other race he's been to this year, Nashville. And Keselowski went to victory lane that night, too. I'm getting her season passes, Mike. Got that right. I, yeah, I'm getting her a plane ticket everywhere she wants to go. <laughs> I remember Kay was in Nashville, his 49th career start, and she celebrated just like that when she saw her son realize a dream by becoming a NASCAR winner in a NASCAR Nationwide Series. Could he get his first win at Bristol tonight? A wide flag for Brad Keselowski. And he will drive it into the corner. Keselowski will come down and take the checkered flag as a two-time winner in 2008. What a job for the 24-year-old from Michigan. You guys are awesome. Brad Keselowski. How impressive wow. with that? We've talked wow. about how impressive he's been all year, but this might be one of the most awesome, impressive man. things it's we've seen all year. My life. Great job, guys. He is a championship contender now. Bonafide. Shannon? Yeah, I think the only person happier than Brett Keselowski right now is, of course, his crew chief, Tony Erie Sr. Walk me through those last couple laps, knowing that you had the lead and that you could take the win here. Well, we were uh, discussing under that last caution whether we could beat Clint or not. Uh, Clint looked like uh, he was faster there for three or four laps, then it kind of evened out. We didn't know whether we was going to beat him or not. So uh, yeah. We have a victory celebration going on down here. Yeah. He hadn't slipped over. I don't know whether we'd ever get by him or not. Those two cars are pretty equal. But uh, thanks to the Navy for everything they do for junior motorsports. And, uh, hey, how about these Navy guys, man? That's two this year. That, that's pretty good. Hope Junior's happy. Yeah, I'm sure he is. You go enjoy the celebration, Bob. Tony Urey Sr., we call him Pops. He uh, led uh, Dale Earnhardt Jr. to two, in fact, back-to-back -back NASCAR Nationwide Series titles. And now uh, he gets win number two for Brad Keselowski, and he moves in even closer on that points chase. The 88 car burning rubber up in victory lane. He burned it all night long on the high banks in Bristol, Tennessee. From 37 starting spot all the way to the front. Had to run down some really good cars. And there's the co-owner, Taylor Earnhardt Jr., hugging uh, the crew chief that led him the two championships, Tony Pops Yuri Sr. Car, of course, also co-owned by Rick Hendrick. And now down in victory lane, let's go down to Mike.
the fireworks are blasting, the Gatorade is flowing, and Brad Keselowski is celebrating with the Navy team. His second career win, his first here in Bristol, and what a big win it was. To win, you also had to beat the guy you're chasing in the championship. There was a bobble there. When he slipped, when Clint slipped, what were your thoughts? Uh, we got him. Yeah, I knew we were dead equal, uh, Clint and I, and I needed to catch a break, and he gave it to me, and uh, I'm very thankful for that. Thank you. Uh, but we know to win the championship, we got to win races, and that's what we did today, and that's uh, that's what we got to do every week. We got to run up front and have a shot to win races, and uh, if we keep knocking that out. We'll get this U.S. Navy Chevrolet. Uh, not only with more Victor Circle trophies, but uh, championship one. A guy who's nearly as excited as you is your car owner, Dale Earnhardt Jr. I saw him lean in the window and say something to you. What'd he say? You know, Victor Lane, Bristol. It gets no better than that, man. I dreamed about this uh, on Thursday and uh, came and watched the truck race on Wednesday and told everybody in the Chevrolet suite that I could get it done. So, guys up there in the Chevy suite, this one's for you. This morning, your crew chief, Tony Uri, said to win here, you need to be patient. How patient did you need to be tonight? Extremely patient. Uh, things just came to us if we let them. And uh, if I would have forced some things, I struggled with the 99, passing him for a while. And, uh, you know, we just had to stay patient, stay patient. We knew we were fast, just had to be smart. Brad Keselowski picking up his second career win, Doc. He was chasing down the, the uh, two car of Fled Boyer and the slip that Mike was referring to came off of turn two. Sometimes you need a break. And uh, you know, if you, you create your own breaks, he had to be in position for this and right here. Well, he had passed 35 other cars to get to that point. So he'd done a great job, obviously. Clint Boyer looked like he tried to get back to the gas a little too hard right there. His car just wouldn't hold that. And Brad Keselowski was there. Winning at Bristol, nothing better. Point standings now with nine events to go. 122-point margin between Clint Boyer and Brad Keselowski. How about the fact that Brad Keselowski started 37th and won the race and a driver that was second in the points, Carl Edwards, finished 37th tonight. He will lose a spot. You see David Rudiman, Mike Bliss, uh, Rudiman up a position, Bliss back one spot. Oh, there is mom giving her son a hug. Kay Keselowski says, yes, the dreams do come true.